What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, this time with uh, Episode 6 or the first episode of Shibuya. Uh, really excited for this though, I probably should be a bit worried from what I've heard the manga readers say about this upcoming season. Um, they obviously telling me to actually be a bit more scared than to be excited, but um, everything from the trailer looked so sick. I uh, can't wait for the return of Jogo as well. Um, just so many promising things from that trailer wasn't there the animation looks spectacular so really excited to get into this first episode today uh, do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into the video finally in the present as well we've been in the past for quite a bit of Jujutsu Kaisen lately haven't we I haven't heard the opening and ending yet, but I did see they released a couple of hours ago now, I think. Thought I'd wait till uh, to watch the episode. That looks pretty familiar, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, is this some... Uh, is this some human centipede type stuff here right here. I don't know, that looked a bit more like the fly actually. <laughs> and the earth man fell in love. Wow, I mean I respect the fact that this is like a whole trailer right here. It honestly looks like something I'd watch. <laughs> I want to see a full episode of that. What the fuck? That looked awesome. Wow. Oh, you I'd go see that with you. That looked pretty damn awesome. Oh, well, this woman. We've seen this scene before, right? Yeah, this is where they recommend... They recommend... Recommended for promotion, right? My beloved. I love you, Toto. He is so awesome, isn't he? May May. It's a grade one. Okay. Oh, I think I've seen this preview shot. In uh, in the preview images, Toto is ping pong. Look at those thighs. <laughs> yeah, there's the shot. Oof. Some spin on that. As you isn't that a item in Pokemon? That is that that's what that's what we use to summon uh the god of Pokemon. I can't remember his name, Arceus. Although you can actually obtain it. I cheated. <laughs> Action replay, and I, and I got the item. That's steady. Oh, 
dear. Oh damn, she smoked him. It's that tall dog. Oh, that's a shame. I love those two. Itadorian. What is there going on with this woman? Itadori and Toda, they, uh, they got a cool relationship. Itadori Kun. Oh, here's the opening. Had a little bit of this in the trailer, of course. That bit of a festival. Was that a uh, was that a moth? <laughs> Mahito going on a spree, and yeah, I think that's reminded me. I forgot who the guy with the thing on his nose was, but that's the um, the older brother of the two brothers that died at the end of season one, isn't it? I forgot that while uh, while watching. What is that monster though? That was a lovely transition right there. Do, do, do. Fucking hell. Jesus. There's a lot of beautiful transitions right there. What the hell? Back to back to back. 34. Oh, don't worry, this is. I'm not gonna endlessly go back. <laughs> I could, I could, if if you wanted to make this video an hour, but I uh, I will not. Wow, that was awesome. Anami and Mahito, I spot there. It's a little bit dark. But I am recording like the daylight, so. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that was sick. I wonder if Mahito's, uh... I wonder if his domain expansion's got any stronger than it was before. Probably, you gotta, you gotta guess. It's Adori just alone. Visuals there were fucking class. I'd like to watch that in the dark, like I said, in a bit of a darker surround and no huge light <laughs> in front of me. Probably be able to see a little bit more. But that was really awesome. Oh, so that's our friend. Wait, what? I, I missed a bit, sorry. Looks like I will be going back. Oh, I'll sort the time around in a second. I, I missed her introduction bit here, apologies. A little bit flabbergasted. <laughs> The visuals. So that's her there. So she went to school with Itadori. Okay. I see. Oh, we'll go back to 627. Apologies about this, guys. How do you change that much? <laughs> I guess some people do in real life. To be fair. I, I know a few people I went in my school that look completely different now. I look pretty much the same, honestly. A bit older, of course. This is what pressure does to a person. That's why she was acting all suspect at the street lights.
<laughs> That's a very like mob psycho inspired scene right there. Looked a lot like Reagan. What was that about? <laughs> that. No. Would you say Megami knows? Well, I guess he probably does know Itadori better than most people. But even then, I don't think they're like super close or anything Megami's quite a distant guy so not like he really glows close to too many people did we, we didn't get an answer out of him did we oh wait we did we did yeah at the end of the fight in season one We didn't get an answer out of Ghetto, I don't believe. I reckon by the end of this, we'll know everyone's type. Definitely not. True, true, and he recognised her, of course. Kind of half expected that. I'm not sure how, but he does. Seen that shot as well, floating about. You rap bastards, what does that mean? I was going to say, I must have been pretty nice to hear, but a little bit spoiled, a bit rotten. Do you know what this show always does with characters like this? They always fucking kill them. So <laughs> I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get too feely, but I definitely have to, uh, yeah. They always do a really good job making you feel for these characters, don't they? And then tearing that down and killing them. Morphing them. Okay, again, let's put some distance. Let's not get too attached to this woman. <laughs> but like I said, they do a really good job of making you feel that, especially so quickly. Like, we've only just met this girl. But I imagine a lot of you guys can relate to her and similar experiences and feelings. They just make it really... I don't know, they're just... They're really good at making you bond with characters quickly in this show.
Junpei really had me on strings, man. Especially the first time I watched it. Worm Man 4 and that's it apparently yeah I was gonna say it, that's hopefully not it <laughs> halfway through you know, it doesn't it wouldn't surprise me it's not been an act there's not been any action really this episode but especially in the action episode you can you can very much feel like they're like 10 minutes long so that wouldn't surprise me if that was the end Kyoto School, Otohime. It's quite funny, isn't it? I'm pretty yeah. In the first episode of the last arc, we were with Otohime as well, investigating. Oh, uh, I doubt that. Or Mekamaru. I guess that could make a lot of sense. Yeah, Mechamaru. So they introduced that like it was Miwa. <laughs> I was like, no, no way. <laughs> She's way too pure. Mechamaru, yeah, definitely. I actually didn't recognize him in the trailer as well. Um, I'm not going to speak any more about that, actually. I got a comment that spoiled me. It's, uh, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Although I'm not really sure it's much of a spoiler. I don't feel too bad about it. This is the only way I've seen him look like. Bandaged up when we saw him in season one. Looking like a mess. Excuse me. Yeah, I guess that does confirm. So it's not all bad. I guess this happened earlier then. Oh shit, so that's what's going on here. What happens with his heavenly restriction in that case? Would he still be able, because he was born with it, do you just lose it if your body's then fine? I'm sure it probably doesn't account for that, so I imagine he probably keeps his power, right?
<laughs> Some strong words right there. I don't know what turned him into a worm. The human, the real human worm. Earth worm man. And yeah, just like that is absolutely fine. Couldn't get rid of that scar though. I guess you'd take that. <laughs> you would definitely take that. Wow. Again, no wonder I didn't recognize him. It, again, he looks like speed of sound Sonic from Bloody One Punch Man, doesn't he? So this should tell us. Yeah, I, th I think I think he's still got his power. <laughs> A little bit more primitive Mechamaru's here. And he's gone. I do love Mahita. I do love Mahita. As much as I hate him as well. But she's an awful guy. Awful spirit. He's uh, also very cool. Super sinister in a good way. Holy fuck. So that's, yeah, that is, I was right. It is Mechamaru. New, a new suit for him. That was a total guess I made in the trailer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> man, man, literally, yeah. Mechamaru. This guy is now, we are now in a mecha anime right here. So he only betrayed Jujutsu because he wanted a, a decent body. I don't really know what he gave up. But I can, um... Oh. Get back on that in a minute. It's got a bit of a thing for me, what? Yeah, fair to say, I don't think he's lost any <laughs> any of his curse energy. Uh, what I was going to say is, I'm pretty sure there was some stuff around the exchange event and the infiltration of that. That information is probably what Mechamaru gave over, um, as well. I was just thinking there. That's probably what he helped out with. Oh, that whole infiltration situation. 
But um, wow, <laughs> Mechavari's going ham. That was sick. That was really like something out of Evangelion or something of the like right there, wasn't it? The whole uh, mech coming out of the ground like that. That was a really awesome scene. But again, I don't really blame him, to be honest. Nothing too bad came out of that whole situation in season one as well. So I guess he can count himself lucky. Um, yeah, would you do that? Would you give up a little bit of information just to, I say just to, to massively get a normal body? I think I might. I think I might. I don't think any anyone can really answer that unless they're in that situation. And I doubt many humans that watch Jujutsu Kaisen have ever been in a situation similar to that. Quite a nostalgic ending right here. Looks wise. evening festival yeah it does look like we're we're gonna uh continue this fight off next episode and i can't wait for that the ending scenes here of this episode were absolutely brilliant with mecha maru uh, again something straight out of like a mecha anime but i haven't seen too many mecha anime uh most prolific one probably being code Geass, but i don't think I've, i don't think i've ever watched the mecha anime with as good animation as this my god uh, i might just watch this again quickly this was awesome and again, I think my question has been answered about his curse energy. I don't think it's, I don't, uh, I'm not sure it'll, he'll grow stronger, but the capacity he's built up over the years, I don't think it's just going to go to go down or anything. I think it's just going to kind of keep at the level he's at right now. And because he doesn't have to go through that anymore, he, he won't increase. It's an absolute guess. Yeah, I love this scene right here. And he's got good intent and it looks like the relationship between all these are just is just done as soon as he got his body back. Or got a good body for the first time, should I say, not back. <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, he's seen a fight with Mahito from before. This is one huge mech to handle as well. Like this, this takes up a lot of energy. I've got to imagine, although it's not over a large span of ground, so it's not exactly the same as the old Mechamaru. That's it right there, it was so sick. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, really awesome first episode back today. Uh, nice that we did get a bit of an action sequence there. I think this whole season is pretty much, just from what the trailer did show, is gonna be pretty much like full action. So can't wait to see, I uh, can't wait to see more. Uh, first half of the episode was really good uh, meeting this old friend of uh, Evita Dori's. Uh, again, a character you really get feelings for in such a short span of time um love the trailer stuff as well with the earthworm uh, at the start but um again i think that they're especially good with rico with junpei uh they're really good at making you quickly kind of fall in love with these characters obviously not kind of love love fall in love but really making you kind of feel them and relate to them and uh make them make them flawed um as we see with junpei as well um but also Again, they're, they're flawed in a good way that makes them more human and, and more relatable. You just really care for them. So um, I've got bad feelings, of course, as as I mentioned, Rico and Junpei, uh, they, their, <laughs> their story didn't end too well. So um, I'm hoping that's not the case for this girl, but I would not be surprised whatsoever. So I'm going to keep a little bit of space be between that. But um, yeah, awesome second half as well. Uh, again, a little bit more investigating with Otohime. Uh, as we did in the first episode of the season. Uh, but this time, uh, checking in on Mekamaru, who's fighting off 
Ghetto, uh, well he's not exactly fighting Ghetto right now, but will eventually be fighting Ghetto, uh, as well as Mahito, so can't wait to catch up with that fight next week. Uh, do let me know what you guys thought about this episode though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions. I'll be back next week with episode 7 or episode 2 of Shibuya, so see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day guys.